You animals! You can't keep me in here forever! You can't! It's you inhumane! <sighs> uh. <laughs> Alright, what's going on everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wind Waker HD. Somewhat visually blind, kind of. Oh, holy crap, 10 rupees. Didn't expect that. The last episode, we got thrown into this prison cell, and it was terrible times. And yeah, the way to get out was this perfectly carved out hole in the wall up top here. Um, yeah, so our sister's been captured. And we came to this island because that's where we were told she would be. And it would be amazing if we crawled through this tunnel. And at the end, it wasn't actually a way out. It was actually just... It was just cemented off at the end. Wouldn't that just be great? <laughs> uh, false hope is funny. <laughs> oh, I really like how the light beams go on like this. Although, it doesn't really make much sense. Because there's no light in the cell. And for these shadows to be real, the light would have to be going through there, right? Or the light would have to be inside the cell. Well, anyways, it's weird. I don't get it. Whatever. Uh, we've escaped. Aha! And here's an another type of treasure chest we'll see in the game. Very like this like steel and wooden treasure chest. We'll often find um, kind of like helpful side quest stuff in the game in these. But this time, it's the dungeon map. You got the dungeon map. You can view it by tapping the map screen on the Wii U gamepad. And even see rooms you haven't been to yet. That's useful. Now, until I have the Wii U Pro Controller, you guys will not be able to see the maps. Maybe I'll just throw them on screen right now. I'll throw the exterior first. Uh, I, I really hope I can find images for this, actually, because I might not be able to. Um, yeah, the Forsaken Fortress. You'll see on the exterior... Uh, I really hope I can find images for this. If not, this is going to be really silly to explain. You'll see these three little symbols on there that show where the spotlights are. And those are important. On the second floor, where we're at... See, it's all it's like this place is one big circle. So if you look at the first floor and the second floor, you'll see they're pretty much the exact same. Yeah, I guess that's really all I got. <laughs> this place is a big circle though, but it's a big circle jerk. But we actually want to jump down here right now. Oh my good lord, there's rats! There's rats! And one thing I do want to show off that not not everyone actually knows about this, and I didn't know about it either for the longest time. The only reason why I found out about it was by uh, well, a little hint later on. And, whoa, good lord! Huh. Yeah, you want to watch out for these guys, because they're assholes, and they'll they'll knock rupees out of you, and if you don't pick them up real quick, like, they'll steal the rupees from you. So, if you throw a bait in front of their homes... Look at them, just kind of shovel. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious! Hey, I've got something real good to sell you. For real. What'll that be? Ooh, all-purpose bait, yeah. All-purpose bait, three scoops, 40 rupees! No! Screw you. What'll that be for you? Uh, what about a hoi pair? Hoi pair, 30 rupees. Uh, no. Jeez, man. What'll it be for you? Just go away. Cheapskate. <laughs> Bring me more sometimes. More. You can't call me a cheapskate and ask for more. So, whoa, uh, I'm taking damage from the rats. I don't know they hurt. Oh, well, it makes sense they hurt me, actually. Whoa. Yeah, so there's a switch band. I didn't really explain it. Look at, look at the way that's, that's swinging. Does that not look like a body that's hanging by its neck or something? That's scary. It looks like E.T. <laughs> hey, look. There's another one of these chests that are very important. Let's open it and see what's inside. Spoilers. It's a heart piece. Yay! You got a heart piece of heart. Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. More heart containers equals more life. Yay. So that's four to get a heart piece in this game. So, yeah. That's a thing. Um... It seems when you do feed the rats, they stop bugging you, which is very interesting. But alright. First floor is crowded with enemies. Oh, 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 by the way, in the event that I could not find a map, this is actually the map right here on the wall. So you see this place is one giant circle. The giant circle jerk. Haha, <laughs> I already made that joke. Um, not all these barrels will hide you. They don't all have cut out bottoms. See, this one does not. I believe the one that's positioned very strategically right here does, though. See, you can hide in this one. All right, here's the more scary enemies of the game. Moblins! Look, there's another map right there. You know what, we'll just keep moving. I can't catch us. Really, they don't immediately catch you? <laughs> I got really far. <laughs> That's funny. Huh, I did not know that. Interesting, okay. So I didn't want to get caught on purpose because it's really not worth it to be on the first floor. It's not, it takes forever to get around them. There's two of them and you're in very close quarters. It's really easy to get caught by them. It would honestly take forever to go through. 
So I just got caught in purpose there. <clears throat> we're gonna go back through here, and then we're gonna take the high routes, as um, the stone, presumably Tetra, told me to do, because that's definitely the easier way, and we actually need to go that way anyways in order to deactivate some things, some spotlight-related things. Mm, yes, and duly okay. Uh, every time I jump for those, it gives me a mini heart attack. Okay, let's start. We're gonna go left first. Uh, I definitely recommend you go right eventually, but you'll see why I'm going left in a moment here. Is it this one? Whoa, what? Listen up, Link. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you could slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut down the spotlight. But you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. Wow, you saw the fact my sword went flying? That's crazy, woman. If I were you, I'd use my shield to deflect the monster's blows to see if I can make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick it up its weapon with A. Not just me, what will you do? What will you do with it? Alright, well, so, yeah, let's go up the slider. When you see ladders like this, it's most likely going to lead up to a spotlight. Hey, look, it led up to a spotlight. And also, I think it's really cool. Like, you can see exactly how this works. It's spinning it, which spins that, which spins another little cog. It makes these spotlights go. Okay, let's see where the spotlight actually shines onto. Can we even see that? No, we can Oh, see, this is the important one we actually want to get rid of. See how the spotlight's by the window? You'll know that whenever the spotlight sees us, we get caught, right? That spotlight, as far as I'm aware, unless you get really, 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 really lucky, I don't think you can pass it. So this is the one spotlight you absolutely need to disable. And to disable, all you do is you distract the guard. And that's essentially it, really. I mean, if you don't kill him, you'll go back to controlling it. You're going to want to kill him. Dude. Come on with your little devil ass tail. Come on. Come on. Get jiggy with it. Come on. Seriously? Okay, yeah, so if you. <laughs> let him do that. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa there, cowboy! Yeah, if you let him. He'll still do his karate moves on you, but at least we have a weapon now that is just a thing of meat. It's pretty good. Ah! Holy crap. It's not really easy to fight these guys with just a stick of meat, you know? Whoa! Didn't expect to see that yet. Look, it's floating. What is it? What is it? You got a joy pennant. You're keeping your spoils big. These pennants are said to flock to those who spread joy like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. Yay! Nectar-filled blossoms! So, a lot of enemies in this game will drop unique items for them. Oh. Oh, we can jump down to this one as well. Okay, so we see we went down the slider. This is where we came from. But, if we jump down here... We go to the second one as well. So the completionist in me wants to disable all these spotlights, and I will. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, the other way to defeat these enemies I actually prefer, instead of waiting forever for them to drop their weapons, is to just break this pot with two meat sticks in it and just attack them this way. They'll drop the weapon anyways, I believe. Watch your front two attacks. I know he's going to do it! Oh! You drop another joy pendant for me? That'd be great. He is! What the heck?! That's a, that's actually a pretty rare job, especially this early in the game. Like I've done this three times now, and like I never got one single joy pennant. And yeah, you actually, if you press B, you throw it. Wee! Oh, I throw so far, it's cool. <laughs> All right. So even though that looks kind of far away, well, I thought the enemy respawned for a second. I was really confused. Um, I kind of want to go get those rupees. That'll be helpful to us. Oh, we're actually close enough now. And yeah, uh, actually, that's where we got caught th th initially, in the spotlight where the two, where the twenty rupees were. See, and the only, we, the way we would have continued progress if I wasn't caught is I would have went up these stairs, and then we're right back where we began. Isn't that cool, guys? Uh, there's one. No, you know what? There was one thing I wanted to check, but okay. So, um, if we go back through this room, this is actually progressing backwards. But I just want to show you guys where we are in relation to everything else. Okay. So, see, that's where we got the dungeon map, right? And the prison cell is up there. See when I said you want to go right here? And we started going left? Well, now that we want to we want to go right. Just trust me on this. It'll make your life so much easier. So, you want to go left, and then you want to jump down to that second spotlight after you disable the first one. My headphones fell out, so I'm just putting them back in. There we go. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Whenever you come out to these little alcoves, I'll show you where you are in relation to everything else. Including the evil sunbird. Right, so we only have one more spotlight to disable. Okay. 
Uh, the first time playing this, I actually missed this chest. Pretty important. Pretty important for the completionist's sake. Uh, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Oh my good lord! We got the compass! Now you can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. View the map screen for yourself! Okay, so what the compass does, if you don't know... Well, the dungeon map, first of all, it's never fully explained that. It just, it's, it's a map. I mean, I guess I don't really even need to explain it. It's very straightforward. It's a map. The compass uh, shows you where treasure chests are. Yay! Can I make that jump? Should I try? Oh, man. Oh, that's so scary. Can I make this jump now? Ooh, interesting, actually. that There's actually... um. There's actually another tre oh, but it's nowhere near here. Never mind. There's a, there's a treasure on the first floor, but it's very far away. It's not worth it. Oh, there's like the kitchen here. I was looking for this place before. You can see the giant cauldron there. I don't know why, but that's this room's always interested me. There's just a weird giant cauldron, and there's no real re reason for it. But it's cool because it gives this place more like life, I guess. All right. So if I remember correctly, this, this the last spotlight should be not this side, but the other side, I guess. Right? Now these perspectives are definitely helpful. Oh, we're actually already getting pretty close to my sister's room. Yay! Alright, so let's go up here. Aha! Now see, there's a box up there. Maybe that'll be useful one day. Maybe it'll be made for a shortcut. I don't freaking know. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so let's play, like, most of these spotlights, for the first one we were at, like, when we climbed the ladder, we were immediately facing the, the Boku Blin, these guys are called, I believe. But the other, these other two, they're facing away for it, so it's easy for us to sneak around. Whoa, good lord, that was too close. Ah, oh, there you go, the weapon's gone. Even though I do notice they use their karate moves a lot more often than they swing their meat. You know, they swing their meat at us, just like they're swinging their meat at him. No! Oh, I was gonna say, if you drop a freaking other joy pendant, I would pee my pants. Whee! Alright. As much as I want those 40 rupees, try to get them. Oh, I can climb up there. It's really tempting. You know, let's do it. <laughs> and then I'll just cut when I get back up there. Yay! It's definitely worth it, I think. Oh, I mean, I'm kind of second guessing it. Okay, uh, I'll meet you guys. Well, first off, I'll show you guys. Well, do I even need to cut? Yeah, I'll cut. I'll see you guys in a second after I get back to where I was. Are you serious? Oh my lord, what? Oh no. So these guys, oh, what are they called? I called them as a child. I called them Denez. Because they say Denet, 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 Denet. <laughs> uh, don't stab me, please. Look, they're just swarming you. It's crazy. I don't remember what they're called, though. Maybe just imps? I think they're imp something. But I, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot I can climb walls. Holy crap, that's terrifying. Oh my lord. Oh. Oh, 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 no, I don't want to deal with it, Mom. Whoo, okay. <laughs> so this is where that second spotlight was. Oh, oh, I didn't know these, these show you what happens again. Hmm. All right. Uh, crap, which way did I just come from? I want to go this way. All right. Oh, no, this is the wrong way. Yeah, I just came from here. Dang it. All right. <clears throat> Let's go the other way, not destroying Tammy, you freaking buttheads. Yeah, definitely went the wrong way. Roll for your love, Mr. Lincoln Park. Alright, 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 alright. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, what? Wow, okay, now I went the wrong way because the chest is there. Wow, I'm really dumb, apparently. God dang it, this is a good way to waste two minutes. I uh, cut out that part. And attempts to save a minute or two, but now I'm just wasted the, those minutes <laughs> on this crap. Okay, I did not realize there's another room here. Alright. And there we go. Okay, so nothing interesting in this room. Alright, getting close to our sea stories now. Oh! Okay, we're really close now, guys. There's one thing I do want to quickly show off here in a moment. Well, first off, we're gonna... Oh, you know what I should have done here? I should have jumped down to get those rupees because I could do it now anyways. So this is a shortcut. Yep. For some reason, I noticed the shortcut didn't save for me before, so now I'm always really paranoid about it. <laughs> Let's push this box here. I don't even know if we really need to do this. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to save where that box is. 
Yeah, this is where we got those 40 rupees. So yeah, and it really bugs me how this box doesn't line up in the middle of this ladder, but <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> I thought there was just this little alcove for the box. It's just weird. You didn't think a box would push down bricks like that. Look at this ship. Well, once we do, once we show this, can we see the ship from here? No, we can't. Great. What? Aha! I've got it, Link. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister is being held, you have to find the room right below the tower. Get dog, take the door to the outside and then climb up from there. You got that? No, that makes no sense to me. I don't understand. It really doesn't make any sense to me, but... Look at this freaking ship. I love how it's like flipped like 90 degrees like that. It looks so freaking cool. I love it. It's fantastic. Oh, and because I haven't pointed it out yet, take a look at the stars. They actually make real life constellations. I believe that's one right there. That's called the question mark. Just kidding. I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> I don't know how like relative. Is that an island? What is that? Or is that just... Oh, I think that's just a cloud. I was going to say, like, that'd be really cool. That was an island. Um, the moons also have phases in this game. Look at that. It's beautiful. And all the spotlights are disabled. There's another constellation right there. The moon the moon actually has a cycle in this game as well. I don't know how accurate it is. I think it's just a seven-day cycle instead of the actual 30-day um, cycle. Is that how long moon cycles are? Might not be, it might be some. I feel like 30 is too much of a round number. But, um, yeah. So, this is exactly why I always say you want to go right instead of left from the prison cell. Why? Because if you go uh, left, it'll lead you to this same room, except for the fact that you'll be at that door over there. And where we want to be right now... Take this off. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get away from me, asshole! Because we want to get to that door right there. So, good lord, get out of here, please! See, if we were over there, we would have had to go past both these moblins, which could be a big pain in the butt, 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 butt. <laughs> but since we came this way, we we'll get past one. That's fantastic. Whoa, okay, that's risky. I was looking at my map to see if I could maybe reach that treasure chest, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Alright, so, these guys are actually very lenient. As long as you stop moving when you do the doo -doo noise. Like, look at that, I'm moving like, pretty carelessly and he's not catching me. As long as you stop moving when they do that noise, though, you are seriously fine. Oh, why are you walking that way, dude? Alright, this is a bit scary. We're walking right behind. Look at these freaking pigmen. Oh, what? Who even caught me? That's weird. It made the noise, but there's, like, the one that was near me was just sniffing the ground. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, guys. We're getting close. I mean, it looks like it's very far away, but trust me, we're actually getting pretty close to reaching the room my sister is, especially going up all these stairs, and I really, really find it funny I could go up these stairs. Look at that cool ship again. Also, I mentioned it, made a quick note of it before, but look at those anchors. Like, how the balls are those hanging there? And especially if this place was initially owned by, like, a small-time pirate group. How the balls do they do that as a small-time pirate group? Are you going to be able to catch me? Don't catch me, please. Don't taste me, bro. I like making really dated references. Hey, look, it's the room where my sister is. Let's crawl in. No, it would be really cool if we could crawl into that room as like a big secret and I didn't even know about it. But alas, you cannot. Yeah, I feel like I probably tried to sneak in there before. Okay. Um, now, you you see this wall looks imp impassable. That's because it is. Whoa, wait a second. Oh, phew. I thought I just doomed myself there. Thank God that ladder's there. All right, so here's another shortcut box it i mean it's not even really a big deal i mean we will be returning to this place later on in the game semi spoilers but um even if you don't do this like it, it's fine it's not a big deal because when you come through here again it's more of a kick everyone's ass kind of thing instead of sneak around kind of thing so <laughs> Yeah, I don't worry about that too much, but I'm still gonna activate those shortcut boxes just in the event that they become useful. Um, I know when I last played this in my last attempt at recording session, I went to push that box. Oh no, what I did was actually I jumped down there to push the box, and I accidentally rolled into it because to roll and the grab is the same button. Like, let's see if I'm running and I press A, I roll. What do you want, Tetra? What's the matter? The room your sister is just ahead. Look carefully at the tower wall. Isn't there a narrow ledge you across? Face the wall and press A to sidle the wall. You should be able to get across the ledge. As long as you're careful, just remember you can't do anything else while you're sidling. So you have to be extra careful of what's around you. Okay. 
That's okay. Whoa, the lights turned off. So yeah, if you're running and you press A, you roll. If you're standing still and you press A, you'll grab a box. So it's I accidentally broke the box. I had to go all the way around again, and good lord, was I ever mad. So yeah, this is where cycling becomes really useful. You sidle along the wall. I sidle along the wall. With my scary looking face. I'm so mad. <laughs> when you come to the edge, you'll do this like kind of like sneaky thing where you peek around even though you won't be able to see anything like that, Link. Alright. Now, this is why it's extremely important why it, I think it was that first spotlight. I think it was that one over there, right? One in the middle there. Or maybe that one. One of these two, anyways. Oh, look, the pirate ship is still there, too. Holy crap. Do we see anybody? No, it would be really cool if we could, though. No, it's just, I was like, is that Gonzo? But not just the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel! See, if the spotlight was shining on here, we would not be able to slide along this. We would- <gasps> I pressed A! Are you serious? <sighs> Anyways, if you press A to sidle along, wow, that's that's a really annoying. Thankfully, I could kind of use these shortcut boxes to my advantage now if I could figure out which ones to go up. Wow, just wow, guys. Wait, where is it? I don't think this is the one I want to use, is it? Maybe it's, I think the one I want to use is probably up here. Would it not be? Yeah, it's up there. How do I get up there, though? I know this these stairs will bring me much of the way. Well, crap. I did want to end the episode. Oh, good lord. I was going to end the episode right before we got to the place where my where we get my sword. Alright, let's see. Shortcut box might be up here. Great, it's not. I can't access it. <sighs> I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. Something, something. Okay, I think we could access it through when we get to the spot where this um, spotlight is, though. But yeah, so if you try to slide along the wall where that spotlight would have been shining, there's like no way for you to get past it because the spotlight will be shining along that wall and sidling takes five ever. Oh, good lord. Uh, that was scary. Um, now, see, I think it is possible for you to sidle past that spotlight. Because I remember I almost did it once. But I know it's very, very. Oh, I don't want to see this scene again. Can I just. Oh no! I just want to. I'm just trying to skip it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Aha! It's up here. But yeah, there's. It, it, it's. It, that's why that spotlight is almost like you almost need to do it. The other two spotlights. Because, like, you know, there's two spotlights on. There's two lights on every spotlight, right? One of them. One of the two on each one is just pointing towards the sea. So you don't need to worry about them most of the time. Are you serious? That's exactly what happened before. <sighs> so freaking annoying. So I have to go through a room and come back. Because this game doesn't know what I'm trying to grab. What I'm trying to freak. Why well, couldn't I just use a different button? Why? You guys tell me a little frustrated. <laughs> okay. So in the next episode, I will start it off. You know what? No, I'll just meet you guys up there. Okay. Here we go again. Uh, you see there are these little ledges here you could drop down to like there's a chance you'll fall onto it And that would be great if I did the first time, but no, I just jumped off some freaking silly stupid head <sighs> All right, so in the next episode We will go save my sister, but first I hope I find my <gasps> See you guys next time.